welcome back to the channel <laughs> a lot of people are like oh don't start your videos with hey guys am i supposed to start my video with oh hey besties because <laughs> you guys are my besties and i also read online that just because someone calls you a bestie online doesn't mean that you need to have access to the person's life and i actually resonate with that tweet because just because i call you my bestie doesn't mean you have to know every little tiny detail or just think that we are online friends we are online besties when it comes to being online besties but there is also like a boundary there is a limit to being an online bestie note that anyways in this video i am going to be sharing some more cultural shocks that i have experienced since living in the united kingdom for the past 10 months 42 weeks to be precise this week makes it 43 but I, since i'm recording this in the 43rd week it's not yet 43 weeks completely but it's been 42 weeks since i moved to the united kingdom and i can tell you it's been a journey and today's culture shock is more than the first video if you've not watched the very first video it's so it's somewhere linked in the description or somewhere on the screen i don't know whether it's always the left side or the right side but i'm just saying it's somewhere on the screen and i'm also like going to link it in the description below in that first video i think i shared like 16 to 17 right now i have more than 32 <laughs> 32 like you can see it. i don't know if you can see it on my ipad but i have like a whole lot it's not showing it's showing like a white screen how do i know because i am mirroring my screen so i can see what how i look like on the camera the first thing i have to talk about is the many tax that we pay in the united kingdom i'm still that yes they don't tax me but they mistakenly taxed me like if you work like most times during the holiday you work more than 20 hours they will tax you they will collect their money in full once i graduate i'm very scared but i know god will always provide we pay for council tax we pay for this one tax we pay for ni tax we pay for something tax you pay for income tax i'm like what and when i saw the breakdown of the council tax i was actually very surprised the many tax people pay in this country now i see why they always complain because trust me the tax is taxing it is taxing before i always like tried to understand what the joy was when hrmc pays them tax refunds now i understand because they are owing me tax and they better refund me because i'm a student the second thing that shocked me being here for the past 10 weeks and this was based on the university of salford is the educational system always asks for feedback i don't know how it is in other university but the university of salford we ask you for feedback they will ask you for feedback on your courses they will add you, ask you for feedback on a session you attended they will ask you for feedback about a service that they rendered to you like if i call the digital it services they will ask me for feedback on, on who attended to me and it's not just the educational system they literally ask for feedback everywhere i call for vodafone the customer care representative that attended to me they will ask for feedback i call the bank the person that attended to me they will ask for feedback the way they always ask for feedback we don't used to ask for feedback from nigeria where i come from we don't do that then when they say a love and dairy these are words used for everybody they are hey love thank you love thanks love hey love hey my lovelies it's what endearment that is used for everybody they don't mean anything they are not rude about it they're just telling you a hey, love they're telling everybody a hey, love they're telling you a hey, dairy they're telling everybody a hey, dairy oh they're calling you my love they're calling everybody my love that's how they do it like i was very shocked when i started working in december I, I first thought it was like that kind of person's thing but after working at several other places that I'm, I'm hearing love dairy dear a hey, dear the words of endearment that we don't use anyhow where i come from is what they are using here <laughs> it shocked me another one is on election day there is no public holiday like where i come from in nigeria there's always a public holiday or in africa but here there is, is business as usual everybody goes around their business as usual it is a normal day in the united kingdom you go you cast your vote you go back to work you go you cast your vote you go back to lunch that's how it is there is no buhaha there is nobody stealing ballot boxes it is business as usual and i'm like my country will get there one day another one is you can start working from the age of 16 i wish i was able to start working from the age of 16. i know that yes in nigeria a lot of people start working from age of 16. maybe if some people lose their parents early or something like that but it's not a very embraced fact yet that you can start working from the age of 16 in nigeria like you can apply for jobs here being a 16 year old and you will still be given the job but you just be given a reduced pay because they want to control your spending and everything but it's very 
how will I say it, is approved for a 16-year-old to apply for a job and get it. And it just makes them grow in their positions. Like I worked in with a company or a, yeah, a company in November, December, that person had been there for 13 years and he started working there at the age of 16. Now imagine if most of us in Nigeria or in Africa started working at the age of 16 at different companies, we would have grown to managerial position. That person I'm talking about is a manager. He had grown to manager, managerial position that they were promoting him to go to different stores within the United Kingdom to actually go manage them. Now, if we were working from the age of 16, it, I think if I was working from the age of 16, maybe my life would have been. I'm grateful for where I am now, but you get it just. Also, there is organization in the system. Example. There was a fire alarm that tripped off. There was no fire. Thank God for that. I was very tired from work because I got home pretty late. The fire alarm tripped up around 5 a.m. Nobody can turn off the fire alarm until you the fire service comes. Well, we thought we could turn it off in my building, like this entire building where I live. But we had to call the fire alarm and they came in. I mean, we called them late. That's our fault. But the alarm was sounding for like 30 minutes until we dis- deduced that, okay, you people, you know what? There is no fire. That's number one. There is no smoke. Number two, we need to call the fire service. To- they came to turn off the fire alarm and the fire alarm works. Why the fire alarm line tripped off was because there was a pipe that broke. So it was like, it affected like the fire detector and everything. The fire service came within like, two to five minutes of them calling them and you could i could hear their own blown 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 and then they came on time and then they fixed the alarm and it went off and we all went back to sleep i saw a video where there was a fire at the petrol station and the fire truck arrived on time thank god for that and where the fire truck was situated to the fire the water that they were throwing couldn't even reach the fire it is well next one is i love the self-checkout options here like you can self check out there are cameras watching you so not a lot of people like steal and take things away i've never actually gone through the self checkout in nigeria in any store i feel like they don't trust you they always put somebody there so that you don't run away and i understand where most africans are bad people especially nigerians i'm not trying to paint us as but it's just like i don't know man it's just like not everybody's a good person I, i'm not saying the people here are good people because see I've witnessed a lot of shoplifters and most of them are their people. But they've created a system where out of the numerous numbers, the amount of people that have like a mindset of doing the right thing are way more than the people that have the mindset of doing the wrong thing. Do you understand? I'm not attacking my people, but I'm just saying we've not gotten to that level where we can do self-checkout. Mm-mm, we've not. We've not. People are going to lose money. <laughs> the next one is they have salt and sugar tax. You people, if you buy food here, most times you have to ask for extra salt. And they have sugar tax because they have a lot of people that are obese. They have a lot of people that are hypertensive. So for every company or for every product, there is a level of sugar you must put. You cannot you cannot exceed that level. There's a level of salt you can put in the food. That's why most of the most of their food, I don't find it sweet. Because where is the salt? Where is the pepper? I'm so used to eating salt and pepper from being in Nigeria all my life. So, yeah, we have salt and sugar tax. When I found out, I'm like, salt and sugar tax? Really? Also, the banks have two to three staff in them. You walk into a bank, it's just two to three staff you're seeing in the entire bank. Like, I know that they have an head office, but the branches of the bank don't have many people working in them. They don't. It was a shock for me. And they close early. And if you enter when they are closed... But they will not attend to you. There are zero hour jobs and you can work for competitors and no one will hold it against you. Like you can work for people that sell the same thing or the companies that do the same thing and nobody will hold it against you. They are called zero hour contact jobs where you just pick on shifts. Tundo and Tamedo, they are doing the same thing, but you cannot work for both of them at the same time. And you rarely have zero hour jobs. We rarely have like shifts in Nigeria. I feel like if that was introduced and um, hourly pay was introduced, it will make things a whole lot better for us in nigeria but that was a culture shock here zero hour jobs now when they ask you you're all right they don't care if you're all right it's a form of greeting it's like hey you don't need to tell them that you're all right though they don't they don't care about you <laughs> also since living in manchester you always have to check the weather forecast before you go outside because their windows are built to how will i say it you can't hear if it's raining from inside no the roofs also well because i live in a flat i can't really like hear 
if it's raining because I'm not close to the roof. I'm living is somebody that is living above me. But I can tell you their windows are not built to bring in noises and everything. You have to check the weather forecast to be sure it's raining. Most times I've actually gotten downstairs and I've seen that oh my god it's raining oh i need to go back upstairs and get an umbrella that's the days i forget to check the weather forecast but most times when it's winter i don't ever forget to check the weather forecast i never never forget to check the weather forecast also refund works refund works here in the uk you buy something and you need a refund take it back they'll refund you it works in my country you stress the vendor to give you a refund most of them here you buy something from a small vendor, a local vendor, a big company, the refund works. So she has your receipt, your refund, you will collect it in full. They have provisions for everybody. Like they have provisions for everybody. The disabled, the pregnant, the elderly, the students, they have provisions for every single person in the United Kingdom. The road, the toilets, the cyclist, you have bicycle, you don't have car. They have provision for you they've taken this into consideration and it makes me see a working system see they have their flaws plenty and i've come to the realization that see government everywhere they're the same thing it's just that there's a higher devil than the other the devil you know it's not better than the devil you don't know i'm telling you next one is all problems however large or small can be resolved with a cup of tea these british they don't play with their tea oh you have a problem do you want tea Let's have a conversation. Would you like to go out for tea? Everybody tea. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Another thing I noticed is that although we all speak English, English is different. The English in this United Kingdom, Manchester's English is different from Birmingham English. It's different from the Welsh. It's different from the Scouse or something like that. Words have different meaning. Phrases have different meaning. So you have to make sure that you understand the lingo of the particular community you are in. Before you start engaging in conversation so that you don't sound offensive. They take offense really fast. They don't have ACs. The infrastructure in the United Kingdom was not built with fitting in AC in mind. During summer, it is always incredibly hot. I almost died of heat stroke. Like, thank God I did not die. But I might be exaggerating, but the heat was heating. I'm not even going to lie. The heat. The infrastructures are not created for ACs. They are not. They live in a region where... It's always cold. It's always very, very cold or very windy. So their buildings are designed to retain it. When there is heat, inside the heat, that's why most times they're always outside. I couldn't sleep for like a week, the week that there was the heat wave. So when people say, oh, you buy exaggerated, I'm like, okay, come and live in the UK. I'll see so that you will know. Another thing is, talking about the climate, the UK is incredibly diverse in the climate change. Very diverse. It might be raining in Manchester. In one place in Manchester, and you go to the other place, and it's not rain. It has not even rained there for weeks. It's very incredibly diverse. You don't understand the weather, so you have to make sure that you're checking the weather forecast every single day. If I thought we used to queue in Nigeria, the UK has mastered the art of queuing. They can queue for everything. Well, the queue is not even very organized. Nobody jumps the queue or anything, but they can queue. They just queue, and they can queue for ours another thing that shocked me you know in nigeria when we buy land it's our own and if, if even if you buy land you are paying for ground rent and after the rent expires you will pay again so even if you've built your own house you will pay for ground rent for you renting the ground from the government they will pay for ground rent sometimes the expenses are very ridiculous another thing that i noticed is navigating office politics practicing diplomacy and understanding British culture are essential for professional success and financial stability. You need to know how to practice office politics with the British. I noticed that when I was working with a, a brand in November, December. If you don't know how to kiss ass or you don't know how to like practice office politics, you're not going to win in this UK game. You need to know how to practice office politics and learn diplomacy. Another thing I've noticed is, which I, I can relate to, is people never stop complaining about the weather. We will complain because the weather is incredibly diverse. We will complain. We will complain. What do you mean that it is raining one minute, it's sunny the other minute, the next minute it's snowing, the next minute ice is falling? What do you mean ice? High skin. They drink a lot of alcohol in this country. Like, they drink 
I thought we they drink like mad. What do you mean? They they drink like mad, you people. Also, Scotland is not in England. What do you mean Scotland is not in England? I thought Scotland was in England. That was a culture show. That's my own culture show. What do you mean Scotland is not in England? I don't know what they here. Chips are different from crips. What do you mean potato chips is not potato chips, it's potato crips? Like you need I don't like I read a lot of things, right? I'm almost done though. The roads are bad, you guys. Yeah, they don't have like excess their roads are not like bad like Nigerian bad, but their roads are still bad. Their roads are bad. When they say see you later, you don't need to ask when. They don't care. They just say see you later. That's you can say see you later to strangers when they come to buy something. Oh, thanks for buying. See you later. It's goodbye. That's it. The same way they say you're alright. See you later is also a form of greeting. These are the things that have come as a shock to me after staying in the United Kingdom for then months. 42 weeks to be precise. I'll see you guys in the next video.